How's it going everybody? This is Pete the Bush. Today I'm going to talk about frictional costs and how this affects your finances. You see, frictional costs is whenever you exchange an item for something similar and in the process you spend some money but then you receive an item that's slightly better than what you had before. For example, you want to upgrade to a newer car so you sell your old car and then you go and buy the new one. The transactional cost here is actually twofold. Whenever you sell a car, you actually lose a little bit of money there unless you're really good at selling your car. On the flip side, when you're buying a car, someone is earning something somewhere when you buy that new car. Same thing when you buy and sell a house, there's a transactional cost with that. Additionally, the same thing happens when you trade stocks too rapidly. So you can think of every single time you buy and sell, you do a motion like this, right? If you do it many, many times a day, you're just kind of going like this and there's a lot of friction and you're building a lot of heat. Well, all that heat is actually money wasted because all those transaction costs are paid to the broker. And every single time you do those transactions, you're actually paying someone a little fee. And then of course, the more you do it, the more fees you pay. So you can imagine, let's say you pay a $10 fee whenever you buy and sell a stock and you do this 100 time right there. That's $1,000 of transactional fees. The reason I mentioned this is because most people, whenever they do transactions, they usually lose money whenever there's a little transaction involved, whenever they sell something and then whenever they buy something. So generally when you think of a trading, you trade something in, you're selling it, and then you, when you buy, you actually lose twofold there. One example could be, let's say you have an older model iPhone and you wanna trade it in for something much newer, let's say you want an iPhone 7. Whatever you have actually still works, but whenever you sell it, you'll notice there's a lot of depreciation for it. Perhaps you bought it for $500. By the time you wanna sell this older phone, maybe you only get $100 or $200 out of it. Therefore, the initial cost is about $700. You only get $200 back, so you lost $500 right there. On the flip side, let's say you buy the new iPhone 7 and let's say it costs you $700. You took back two, you took back $200 from the iPhone, so it really effectively cost you $500. But what just happened here? You got a newer phone, but effectively the net loss is $500. You had an older phone, but effectively you spent $500 and sort of burnt it in thin air and you have this newer phone in replace of that older phone. What happened here is you traded the old phone for the new phone. Yes, you get more functionality, but basically the core functionality is exactly the same. So in light of that, you traded in that $500 to get the latest and greatest. However, the core functionality stayed the same. I say core functionality in terms of you can still make calls, you can text people, etc. You can go on the web and stuff. Things like this goes on in life all the time. Whenever there's a financial transaction, there's always someone sitting in between taking a small cut out of it. So therefore, for most things, it benefits you the most if you can buy it and hold it for as long as you can to reduce the amount of transactional costs. Of course, there are some unique few people who are very good at buying and selling and they actually want to do more transaction because every single transaction they actually make money off of. Now for the average Joe, this is not the case, but maybe for a really good car car salesman, for a person that's flipping products or something, then maybe that's good for them. For the average person, transaction cost is a very bad thing and it generally reduces your net worth. I hope you enjoyed this view of looking at how you buy and sell things, especially when you trade up to a new product. Don't forget to give me a like on this video, comment down below. Let me know if you did any sort of transaction of trade up and how much it actually costed you. If you're interested in supporting this channel, I have an audible link down in the video description below. I also have a Gamefly down there. I have a Patreon over here and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.